Hello, we're going to start talking about electron counting and coordination complexes. This is a bookkeeping method for keeping track of the electrons perceived by the central metal in your complex. This follows a pretty straightforward algorithm, so you can do this, follow this procedure for most complexes. We'll start today with a simple one and we'll work through a few different examples. So the first one is the palladium with four triphenylphosphine ligands. This is drawn out over here and I've drawn one of the triphenylphosphine ligands with all of the phenyl rings around it. So the first step is to figure out what the charge on the ligands are. And by convention, we're going to take the two electrons that were bound that are making that ligand bond to the metal and disconnect and put them on the ligand. We're making the assumption that the ligand is donating its two electrons to the metal in the complex. But when we disconnect, we'll look at it the way it was before it bound and calculate the charge on that. So phosphorus has five valence electrons making three bonds, half of the bonding electrons is three, and it has two non-bonding electrons. So these are neutral ligands. There's no charge on this coordination complex, so we must assume that the overall metal must be neutral. The count, we look at the electron count then on the metal ion, in this case it's a neutral metal, and so this is its valence electrons, and palladium has 10 valence electrons. Then we look at the number of electrons donated from the ligands, and that will be two per bond. So two, four, six, eight, two times the number of ligands, so eight. And then we add the electrons from step three and four, so it's valence electrons plus the number donated in, and this is an 18 electron complex. So let's take a look at a second example. In this case, you see we have a counter ion. Remember the coordination complexes are what's inside the brackets. Anything outside the bracket is a um, counter ion. So this is potassium plus on the outside, therefore the complex inside the brackets has an overall negative one charge. Then we look at the ligands inside. We have four nitriles and two ammonia. So this is an octahedral complex. And again, we'll disconnect those, putting the lone pairs on each of the ligands. So ammonia, or amine in this case, we call it the ligand amine, has three bonds to hydrogen and a lone pair. This is a neutral ligand. It has five valence, minus three bonds, minus two non-bonding. So this is a neutral. So we have two neutral ligands. And then the nitriles, carbon has four valence, minus half the bonding, three bonds, it's three, minus two non-bonding. These are negative ligands. There are four negative ligands, so the charge on the ligands is minus four, four times minus one. To determine the charge on the metal, we have to look at the charge on the complex, which will equal the charge on the metal plus the charge on the ligands. We've already determined the charge on the ligand is minus, sorry, the charge on the ligands are minus four. The total charge on the complex is minus one, so the charge on the metal must be plus three, and three minus four is negative one. So now we figure out the electron count on ruthenium plus three. Ruthenium has a valence of eight, so the ruthenium plus three ion has five valence electrons. Then we just do two times the number of ligands, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So we have 12 electrons donated, plus five. This is a 17 electron complex. And finally, for our third example, we have a palladium with two ene ligands and three 
nitrate, two nitrate ligands. And then we have outside the brackets, the PF6 counter ions. So PF6 is a phosphorus with six fluorines. And phosphorus again has five valence electrons. Five minus six bonds is minus one. So we have two negative ligand uh, counter ions floating outside the complex. So the complex has to have an overall plus two charge. Then as we draw it, we have the palladium. And remember that the ene is ethylene diamine. This is a bidentate ligand. So that will bind two times to the metal because there are two amines with lone pairs. So we have two of those binding. And then we have two nitrates. So the amines, if we go back, the ethylene diamine, remember these are neutral ligands. And the nitrate has this formal or this structure. Remember back from Lewis structures. This has a minus on each oxygen and a plus on the nitrogen. So this has a net negative one. So we have negative one and negative one and neutral. So overall, I have minus two for my ligands. Oh, this is minus two, but the charge on the complex is plus two. So the charge on the metal must be plus four. And again, so we're looking for the number of valence on palladium plus four. Palladium has a valence of 10. So this has six valence electrons. The number of electrons donated from the ligands is two times the number of bonds. So this is octahedral. These are bidentate, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So this is 12, and this is again an 18 electron complex. Chose this one partly because I wanted you to make sure that you see the bidentate. If you don't determine that this is a bidentate ligand, you won't get the right number of electrons on this.